Hello and welcome to this next video in a short series of looking at what materials I use for my artwork. Today, as you see, we are looking at watercolour paper. Yeah, what I use for my cards for the classes and I do commission work as well. You can commission a card from me as well. Because I don't stretch this, it has to be quite thick. So this is Bockingford, 425 grams per square meter I believe and it comes in big sheets so you can either get half imperial quarter imperial or full imperial so I get a big sheet and then I cut it down to size generally use the a5 to an a6 or a4 to an a5 size so because it's 425 grams per square meter it's quite thick so it doesn't buckle when you put the paint on. For my paintings I use WH Smith watercolour paper. This is 300 grams per square meter which means that it is slightly thinner as you see. So this paper you get 12 sheets in here so I cut them out and I stick them onto a board. Here is said board with tape on that I need to take off. So that's stretching the watercolour paper so you wet the paper you put it on the board, stick it on with gummed paper. And if you'd like to see a tutorial on that, I do have one on the channel, which I will put a link to. Recently, I've discovered these marvelous things for painting out and about. They are watercolor blocks. This one I got for Christmas from my mum and I have actually got a picture on. What it is is, I don't know if you can see, but there are a certain amount of sheets all gummed together in the block. So this means that your paper lies flat, you can paint on it, it won't buckle and then when you're finished there's a little slit somewhere which is here on, on this one and you slit all the way around it and you lift the top one off and then you are left with a fresh piece on the next one and I've taken the, these out and about to start paintings on location and they are really handy so you don't have to take the big board. Thank you for watching this short video about my watercolour paper choices. I hope it has been helpful for you. If you missed the video where I talk about which watercolour paints I use, there will be a link at the end of the video. Bye!